Hey everyone, this is Dave from wetflyswing.com and I wanted to show you quickly um, a short little video um, looking at goose biots. And this is uh, just got kind of a, uh, oh, a little hybrid uh, fl uh, flyer, a little pheasant tail, but I'm gonna throw some, um, some biots on top just to show you how to do this. You can see it's just got some peacock on the thorax there, but basically I'm just gonna clip couple of these things off and these can be a little tricky to work with because they're um, a little bit stiff but essentially I'm going to kind of cut off two right from the middle here and then what you do is you take one at a time and you you place them over the top the trick here is to kind of cross it so you can see I'm tying it on the left of the fly here but it's going to cross I'm going to tie it in it right there I'll kind of show you as I see if I can do this I place it back get about where I want it and then I pinch with my left hand and I just do kind of a one rep over the top and then just pull down and you can adjust it with this finger here just pull down over the top like that and then if it spins on you you can just do a little bit of adjusting there and you can see and it keeps that angle. And you can always, you know, kind of move it just till you get at the right spot. And then for the next one, you basically cross over and go the opposite way. I'll show you here. So basically you're crossing over and going that way. So I'll just kind of do it real quick and show you match them up and then I do the same thing pinch with my left and then go right over the top come right over the top and then you come down you kind of do one loose wrap at the start and then as you kind of tighten up you can see it kind of brings it together you can do a little bit of adjusting here as you get into place but you can see see how that's set up there and as you tighten it up, you just kind of work your way back away from the um, bead. And then you can just kind of come in with your scissors and cut it really tight. Once you have it secure, clip it off. You can see there's just a little bit of a tag left over, and you can just tie right over the top of that guy. You don't want to tie too much up here because you can build up and cover the cover the uh, the bead. Sometimes if you just want to kind of grab it like this and wrap back over it you can do that too just so you get it off of there however you do it this isn't critical it doesn't have to be perfect but just so you kind of cover up most of that stuff and you know if you have a lot of bulk here you're not going to want to do you're not going to want to do as many wraps um, so for this one it was a pretty kind of a thin thin fly here but yeah so once you finish it up you can kind of do your whip finish and this is kind of just showing you the the basics of it but just you know it gives you an idea of, of one type you know and how, how it might look on top um, you know to get that to get that angle right so um, so yeah there's a quick little video on putting on goose biots and you know at the end you'll want to do a little bit of head cement and kind of uh, get it on there and you can secure it but uh, for the most part that's how it works so uh, this is Dave uh, from wetflyswing.com, and you can also check out the uh, flytyingmentor.com if you want to check out some of the, the individual courses we have. And uh, that's all I have for you today, so we'll see you soon.